Hi, beautiful thinkers. Tammy here, T E M I. Welcome back to Tammy's Beautiful Thoughts. So, today we're going to be doing a battle of the primers <laughs> drugstore versus I N at Sephora. What's up? Which one is better? Is the Sephora, you know, ones are they worth the price? The ridiculously high price $50 for a primer. Why? 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 <laughs> anyway, so I put four primers to the test because i want to know if the expensive ones are sephora's if they are worth the price or if i can get the same effect from the drugstore before we begin before i share with you guys which okay let me share with you guys which primers i'm talking about so the four primers i'm talking about the two from the drugstore is nyx angel veil covergirl true blend core minimizing two from sephora is milk Blostic Tatcha Silk Canvas. Right so, those are my four primers. Let me give you guys my skin story. So, basically, I have, I would say I have normal skin, but I get oily right here on my forehead, my brows, my nose, like right here on my cheeks, and then my chin. And sometimes I get oily on my upper lip. But everywhere else, I'm pretty much, I'm not dry, I'm pretty much normal so usually well in the past when i get a primer i used to want to get primers that would keep me matte all day i've used the milk of magnesia and yes that would keep you looking matte okay but what i noticed it i usually break out so i used to use that plus the revlon color stay and that revlon color stay is a really really long lasting foundation so they used to break me out although i love that foundation so then I progressed to the Becca Ever Matte Primer. <laughs> and that too, I felt like it wasn't really working for how much it was. So ultimately, I graduated to the point where I just accepted my oily T-zone. I just embraced it. So it's part of my life. It's here to stay. And you know what? It's actually beneficial for my face, for my skin progression it's good for me it will help me to age well okay nobody wants saggy skin <laughs> so it will help me so i've embraced it you know it's part of me i'm not hating it anymore so now i'm at a point where i want my primer to help my foundation stay on my face i don't mind getting a little shiny i would blot with a little tissue maybe a little bit of powder as long as my foundation still kind of looks fresh and it's, it doesn't look like... Because I've used foundations before where the moment your oil comes out, the foundation is gone. It's like, eh, bye-bye. <laughs> so I didn't want that. I wanted something that would still keep the integrity of my foundation even when I get oily. So that's where I'm coming from. So let's go with the first one. So I'm going to be... Keep, um, sliding some b-roll of me using this primers um not using it like how they look at the end of the day when i used it and when i use these primers i use them with two different types of foundation one with a matte foundation and then second one with a kind of like a satin finish skin like foundation so let's start with the uh, nyx is it nyx no 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 nyx is not the one we're starting with we're starting with covergirl one thing i want to mention all four foundations the textures are they all applied really really smoothly the texture is very lightweight on the skin they don't feel greasy on my skin at all i, I don't want to say they feel they don't even feel like a moisturizer it wasn't, it wasn't like moisturizing just felt kind of like silky on the skin and then uh, the both times i used them with the foundations i also used the setting spray so i'll say which setting spray i used so for the first one i said cover girl right it's the true blend base business pore minimizing primer okay now, what it says, it's eleven forty nine. You can get it at CVS, um, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, you know, those kind of places. So, it says it has a lightweight texture, um, helps with lasting makeup, it's oil-free and it's fragrance-free. So, this would be really good for those of you that don't want, like, any kind of fragrance, any kind of smell in your foundation. I'll be in your primer. Well, it does have smell. What are they talking about? It's fragrance-free. We're getting definitely has a smell. Abby, when they say it's fragrance free, does that mean 
no smell or no somebody explain to me fragrance free doesn't mean it has absolutely no smell or it means that it has no added fragrance so maybe the the ingredients could have their own distinct smell explain to me please <laughs> but it does have a smell a good smell actually okay so first time i used it i used it with maybelline um maybelline super stay stick foundation i'm out of that foundation now so i can't show you and then i used it with um remote setting spray so on that day i noticed that my t-zone was really 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 shiny okay i had some um oiliness on my cheeks forehead chin and major most of the oil was concentrated on my nose but i didn't notice any like crazy separation of the actual foundation on my face but on this um i don't know why it's always this side of my smile line that i kind of decide the foundation starts breaking up just at that line slightly so that was the only place that I could physically see that the foundation was a little bit was separating a little bit but to me it wasn't bad it wasn't bad okay i could live with that the way that it looked at the end of the day i can live with, with that the second time i used it i used it with this infallible stick foundation from l'oreal and this foundation is more on the satin side it's it and it even has it even has sunscreen so when i used it with that foundation i was oily all over <laughs> all over and i could see some wear off on my face i could see the foundation begin to like you know some areas where the foundations are has already wore off and stuff but it still didn't look too crazy because like i said what i'm looking for is i don't want the foundation to look crazy at the end of the day even if it's going to wear off let it wear off in a very kind of natural way not like where people are seeing holes in my face <laughs> you know you guys understand what i mean so it still didn't look crazy you know it looked like i had been wearing it for a while so both times when i blotted though because i blot both times i didn't notice too anything too crazy like i said i noticed a little bit of wear but nothing too crazy so that's the cover girl now next is the angel veil so the angel veil is um 16 dollars you can get it same places you can get cover girl you can get this i don't know if they sell do they sell nyx or walgreens i'm not sure if they sell nyx or walgreens or walmart anyway alta and cvs sells nyx 16 dollars. it's vegan it's lightweight smoothing skin minimizes shine keep that in mind minimizes shine and helps makeup last so first time i used it with the uh, maybelline foundation I didn't notice um separation except for my smile line again my nose was a bit shiny and then my chin uh, is this my chin tell me that's not your chin my chin so i didn't notice much shininess on my forehead or on my cheeks it was mostly my nose and a little bit on my chin so second time around oh and then when i blotted it looked it looked fine you know second time around when i tried it i could know i noticed that my t-zone was a bit more oily more than when i used it with the maybelline foundation and that i expected that so and then i was i noticed some wear off when i used it with the l'oreal foundation and then i blotted and it looked okay and the thing so i don't know if you can see the difference that because that l'oreal foundation is a bit more on the satin side the way that it paired with the um primer was a, was much different which was to be expected one is matte foundation one is a satin foundation next is the tatcha seal canvas 52 dollars ah jesus is lord guys i don't know what i'm thinking i don't know what in god's name i was thinking when i bought this 52 dollar nonsense let me not call it nonsense when i call this 52 dollar 10 i don't know what was i thinking tell me 52 dollars i'm sorry guys oh $52. If you guys know what that would do, eh? Anyway, that can buy a couple of stocks, okay? Maybe two. <laughs> so, $52. It says it's for all skin type. It's smoothing skins, help with pores and fine lines, helps with oiliness and dullness, and helps prevent clogged pores. You can see how, what they mean by that, you know, it creates like a barrier 
on your skin so that the foundation doesn't settle into your pores. So the first time I used it with Maybelline Stick Foundation, my nose became oily at the end of the day, a little bit on my cheek and a little bit on my chin. I didn't notice um, any separation at all, not even on my smile lines. You guys let me know in the video if you notice any separation. I didn't notice any. And there was no visible wear down on my face at all. Now, the L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. That one, I was oily all over. <laughs> I was really oily all over on that one. And um, the foundation hadn't moved too much, but I could see some, some wear off, you know. Which, again, is the end of the day, so it's to be expected. You know, last but not least is the Milk Blow Stick. So, Milk Blow Stick is $36 at Sephora. So, it's lightweight, silicone and oil-free. It's supposed to help with modification. It blow, it blow pores and fine lines and it's also cruelty-free. So, when I used it the first time with the Maybelline Stick Foundation, nose again oily pretty much my t-zone was oily um but i didn't notice any separation with this one as well there was no visible wear down with this uh, primer and then the second time around i used it with the l'oreal i was oily again all over which was surprising with this one because it said it's supposed to help keep you matte and the foundation hadn't moved too much you know the wear off was minimal so i graded all the foundation based on the one that helped with controlling oil the best and the one that helped with freshness like wear time like how the foundation looked at the end of the day so i called it the wear down how best it wore down okay so controlling oil for me for my experience nyx controlled my oils yeah nyx controls my, controlled my oil the best this one actually disappointed me i didn't think that it was supposed to be a matte Primer, but when I was doing my research and I saw that one of the um, properties was that it's supposed to keep you matte, I'm like, this one ain't keeping nobody matte. So I was kind of disappointed in the milk one because it was actually the last ranking on that controlling oil. So this one was the best, followed by Tatcha, followed by Covergirl, then the milk plastic was Arupo, last of the last. <laughs> so and then okay so for wear down so this is how i let me explain again how i describe wear down so that means that at the end of the day how does the foundation look on my face does it look like it's separating in several places does it look like my it's settling in um several places on my pores where my pores are like so visible i don't know what they call that thing you know those little little o's and kind of gives you the shivers yeah i hate when foundation does that so all that is what I'm grading for. So by that, the best one was the milk blow stick. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's not very good at controlling oil, but if you have a lot of pores and um, you have a lot of texture and you just want to smooth out your skin, from my experience, this one is the best one. Okay. Followed by the Tatcha Silk Canvas, followed by NYX, followed by CoverGirl. So. So my conclusion is that depending on what you want, what you're looking for, if you're looking for a primer that would just help your foundation look fresh throughout the day, the milk or the toucher is a good buy. I pause because for me, it's still not a good buy. I'm sorry. I can deal with the next. Even though I know I can get a better result with milk or toucher, I would rather spend the money on the on the NYX because the wear down wasn't crazy. It was just a little bit of separation and a little bit of wear off. I can I, I can deal with that and pay that sixteen dollars. And I've had this thing. I've been using this thing for like three four months now. So if I was to guess, I would say maybe I would only need two in a year. I'm not gonna be paying fifty fifty two dollars two times a year when I could be paying sixteen dollars. What do you mean? No, thank you very much. So, you know, use the information however you please. I like the NYX, okay? Despite my conclusion, I still would prefer to go with the NYX. And then second to that would be the cover girl. I'm sorry, I'm just not interested in paying. Well, I paid for it. But I'm not interested in paying again 
for a $52 primer or a 30 whatever dollar, $36 primer. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I would rather just stick with this two. They work, okay? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm glad I have this two. I'm glad I have it, okay? But when it runs out, I don't believe I'm going to buy it again. So this will be my special occasion primers <laughs> where i know i'm going to be out maybe dancing maybe doing a lot of stuff and i want my foundation to stay put yeah this will be the ones i'll be using but it doesn't control oil as well so you're getting longevity but oil control i guess you could just blot so that would be fine so eh. so anyway that's my conclusion let me know what you guys think do you guys have any of this primer do you guys have a different experience with any of this primer especially the expensive ones did it work for you or from your own perspective you wasted your money <laughs> let me know in the comment section below thank you once again for watching and i hope uh you guys learned something from this video um and um if you guys like this kind of uh try out videos where i compare different products from different well different price range I can't promise to do different price range all the time. But just comparing different products and see which is better. Let me know in the comment section below and give me like some product ideas that you would like to see battle each other and see which one is better. So thank you so much guys for watching and uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you've learned anything or you were ent entertained, informed, encouraged in any way, shape or form. Please like the video so that YouTube knows that people are actually watching it and they can push it out even more. And also subscribe and ring the bell. If you know that you want to know when I upload new videos, ring the bell so that YouTube can let you know. Hello, Tammy just uploaded. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.